for either of you guys, you, you've obviously been through the experience of going into these tournaments. Do you tell the freshmen anything about maybe what to expect or uh, how to prepare? Uh, right now we're just just trying to prepare as like a whole, uh, going into practice, just doing everything we can to, you know, uh, fix some things. Haven't really been too worried about the tournament yet, but uh, we'll probably get there in a little bit. Um, the only thing to expect is, you know, it's a lose and go home game. I mean, that's the only thing to tell them. Every other thing, like, we got to prepare for, you know. We got to come into all these tournaments like we did against Tennessee, you know. we This is the SEC tournament. Like, we've played everybody. So the only thing they got to prepare for or to expect is once you lose, it's done. You got it. Uh, Tennessee played you pretty physically. Uh, how do you think that aspect of your game has developed uh, over the course of the last, last few games? Um, my game has been on and off. Like, you know, I just... I'm like, you know, I've been in the gym all the time trying to be consistent with what I do, you know. But I'm happy that, you know, last, last game I came in like, you know, it was a mental game for me. I must say like this um, past few games, it's been mental games for me, you know. It's how I prepare myself mentally coming into the games. But um, the last game that we played, like I really, you know, came into the game really prepared mentally. You know, I said no, but like, and I gotta really play physical, you know. If I gotta set the tone for the team, I gotta be physical, and you know that was what happened. You know, it's our mental for me. You know. It's been a little over a month since you played either Texas A&M or Ole Miss. Could you guys just talk a bit about the difference in yourselves and the team since playing either either team? Did we have a healthy team at the time? I know, I know, I didn't play in the A and M game, but uh, I think we were probably missing somebody else for Ole Miss. But uh, yeah, now, now we have a you know full roster, so things uh, things can be different. I mean, I mentioned a few weeks ago this team is built for March. Well, here we are. Are is this team clicking on all cylinders the way? Most people thought you would three or four months ago, but is this team ready to make a run and do what has not been done for a while? Um, I think we're ready. You know, we're gonna start off by saying that you know we have a healthy team now. You know, what a time in the year to have a healthy team. You know, so people should respect what they haven't seen. You know, we just gotta be you know physical. Come, like I said, come in and play the way we played against them. Um, you know, Tennessee. It's all mental. We all clicked against Tennessee. We all, like, we all really did. If we could play, you know, like that, like from like Friday moving on, I think we'll get to, you know, the place everybody expects us to be, you know. That's all it, that's all it is, you know, being phys like mentally ready for games like this. And I know for most of our, um, you know, we're a young group, you know. Most of us are freshmen, and um, we haven't been in this situation before. Sometimes it can be overwhelming, you know. We just got to stay the course, you know, prepare like we've been, you know, preparing for um, the whole season. Because if we can do that, we'll be, like, really good. I do, Coach. Uh, Clint was just telling us about how one area that he thinks a team can really improve in is communication it's out on the court. Uh, you guys seem like kind of quiet guys. How, how is that communication going? And what can you do to kind of step things up on that? Uh, I think the communication is getting a lot better because most of the actions that we've seen throughout the season, we've become more comfortable with calling out. Uh, when it comes to flare screens, you know, in the pick and roll and everything, we've learned what uh, to use for our terms for everything, and that's made everything easier. It's just 
getting in the gym, you know, playing against each other and working on it is uh, what we're doing. We, we talked a lot about your role last season and how it was to change from game to game, practice to practice. Well, going into this postseason, where do you see your role? And um, I mean, what are you trying to accomplish on a game to game basis? And how comfortable are you in it? Um, my role, I don't know. It changes. Once again, it changes every game. Sometimes I I have to score. Sometimes it's just rebounding. Like the Tennessee game, it was I didn't really score. It was I just had a couple of rebounds and blocked shots. But I think um, if I can just you know bring energy, uh, always try and get offensive rebounds, def defensive rebounds, uh, a couple of blocks, some steals. If that's what I have to do for us to win, then I'll do that. I think I just got to come in and play. Uh, pretty hard, well not pretty hard, but as hard as I can and we should be in the right place. Is that Cal telling you before the game, before the matchup, hey, we're gonna need this from you tonight or is that you sitting over there and kind of looking at it and saying, hey, I'm gonna need to fill in this gap or that gap? Um, it's not till like during the game and when you know you see everything, how the other team's playing, who's hot on our team, who's hot on their team, just, uh, a lot of factors in it. Earlier in the season, you guys talked about prioritizing kills. Uh, I think it was like two or three defensive stops in a row. Um, is that something that you guys are still implementing, or is it becoming more subconscious as you guys play? <laughs> um, we're still, you know, we're still big on it. Uh, I know the starting group. Uh, they always try to tell us when we go out there, don't give up any offensive rebounds in the first five minutes. And usually whenever we're able to do that, then that, the game starts off good and we'll start off with two kills already. But yeah, we, uh, we still, we're still pretty big on that. How has this defense improved down the stretch? Because obviously we saw you guys give up a lot of points. You score a lot, but you've given up a lot. Where is this defense now coming down the stretch compared to where it was a month ago, six weeks ago? Um, It's just, you know, about staying connected. We all can do it. We all can play defense. We just just not to play defense at some point, you know. Not that we do it intentionally. It's just that, you know, it's a habit, you know. I take part in defense. That's why sometimes, you know, we got, like, we break down at some point. It don't matter. Offensively, you can you break down. It don't matter how good you are offensively. Defensively, too, you can still break down. You know, we've gotten our ups and downs, you know. But I think this is the time of the year where, you know, we've started to lock in in what we do but on offense and on defense, you know. I think this is the time of the year, like, you know, you got to take pride in your role in this team, you know, because it, like, lock in and do what you ask to do. So I think that's, um, you know, coming in, you know, talking to ourselves, like, we got to do this. Because, you know, with, like, we us talking to ourselves, it's really helped us in the like, you know, these past few games. Cause it's our defense that leads to um our offense, you know. Most of our offense is um, you know, flying down the court, you know, throwing the ball ahead. We can't do that if we if we don't get a clean rebound. We can't do that if we don't get um stops, if we don't get if we don't get kills. So, you know, being able to, you know, lock in. So, um we talked about most of our players, you know, leaking out. Um, and um, they shoot the ball. But now we are coming together, like, you know, and we, but like, we don't got nobody leaking out. Everybody's cracking down, everybody's cracking, everybody's boxing now. You know, everybody's doing their job on defense. You know, that's what we need, and that's what we're doing right now. And I think that's what's going to help us in this tournament. What have you seen from Antonio from last year to this year, from the player he is today? I mean, Antonio is Antonio. You know, offensively, he, like he is what he is. You know, I think he's improved. His confidence level has gone higher. 
you know. And he's consistent, especially in defense, you know. So I think he's really improved from the player he was last year and, you know, and the player he is right now. Uh, we all knew Antonio could put the ball in the, uh, in the hoop, but uh, now it's just like, like last year he was making shots. I When he shot the ball, I, I still think like it's going in, but there'd be times like he'd miss a couple and then you'd be like, ah, uh, like, like, well, no. Now is if he misses a couple, you still think it's going in because it's still going to go in. But he's also getting to the rim. He's got his mid-range. You see him dunking on people now. Like, like we didn't even know Tone could still jump like that. <laughs> but now he's dunking on people, and it's just like, like wow. Like, he's, he's really, like, took another step with his game. Also on defense, you can put him on the best player and he, he'll do what he has to do. Like he's, his game has really improved. You guys both mentioned being fully healthy now. Trey's still kind of working his way back. What would it do for you guys if he got rolling similarly to how he was playing earlier in the season? Um, that's scary because, you know, that's another shooter on the court who could also play the four and five. So, I just gotta say, like that's that's scary. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> guys, how important was it for you guys? You get the win, so you get an extra day off. I'm thinking practice Monday or Tuesday this week. And so, what does that, or Sunday and Monday, what does that do for you at this point of the year? To kind of, does it help get your legs back and stuff? Because you're not gonna have many days off for the next three or four weeks. Um, our off days aren't even really off days, for real, but. These last two was definitely uh, a off day. So uh, I think, you know, for me, that was good for me because, uh, you know, body's getting tired. But, you know, we we back feeling good. So this weekend should be a fun one. Hugo, you had the big game against Ole Miss, but would you rather see Texas A&M again just since you had the loss against it? I mean, you don't matter who we play against, but we need to get a win back. So. Ole Miss, we go with it. Texas a and perfect. We are my. Both of you got a chance to experience last year Nashville and Big Blue Nation and fans flooding into the city. What are you telling guys like Rob and, and uh, Aaron and uh, Trey and people who haven't experienced that before about what they're getting ready to get hit with? Oh, we're trying not to make it seem like all that, but uh, basically just saying like, like now there's, there's a, like now it's winter, go home, but we also need to approach it like it's just another game and not get too big on it. And to just go out there and play our game, not get nervous. Like in the first four minutes, people are going to be gassed because it's going to be, Everyone's adrenaline, adrenaline's gonna be gone and everything. But uh, after that first win, I think everyone's, everyone should be okay. With Justin playing at his most confident over the last month or so, how important is he gonna be for you all going into the postseason? What, what will he bring to the table in, in terms of making a deep run? I think that's gonna really help us. You know, I feel like, I'm not gonna say it's surprising, but, you know, we happy that we getting, like, we breaking through at this time of the year. Like, we happy that this is the time of the year, like, we really breaking through. We need um, everybody in the team. Jordan, even Joey. We need everybody in the team. And I'm happy that we have a full roster to go with. And everybody's really breaking through at this time of the season. So whatever we can get, you know, if this um, postseason games is a game where Trey can be his best, perfect for us. Perfect. So, Justin, I'm really happy for him. And I'm like, I also think that, you know, this tournament is also going to be a great um, platform for him to, you know, show more, like, just things he can do. You know, him being more confident this past month has really helped us in our wins, especially against them, Tennessee.
I don't think who would have won that game if it wasn't for him, to be honest. So I'm really happy for him. And, um, you know, we need him in this tournament. Uh, that's also another person teams got to worry about that's capable for going off for 30. So, <laughs> so it's, I mean, it's self-explanatory right there. We've got a lot of uh, weapons. And, you know, teams got to be careful, like, who they pick to guard because you're not going to be able to guard everybody. A lot of basketball being played between now and when you guys step on the court on, on Friday. Are, are you going to watch any of the games? Do you, do you guys like to keep in touch with any of that? No. <laughs> mm -hmm. We could worry about, about ourselves. <laughs> we know watching nobody, you know. Um, because I feel like the more you watch who you're going to play against, I think that's going to make you nervous with the way they're playing. So um, this was before we played um, Auburn. So I was, I went to eat, and I looked up. I saw that Auburn. I, I, I can't. Smack you oh. <laughs> I mind you, Psycho, like, like we went to that place and did be up by 17 or so. So I'm like, oh, it's going to be a hard game to play. <laughs> so like that made me kind of nervous, but it wasn't the same when we played them. So I feel like, you know, watching these games, like, you know, go and change your mindset on how you approach the games that we, that we play. So if we stay like locked into us and do us, I think that's when we can, you know, we can take whatever challenge like we got coming our way. It just makes me more eager to play. Exactly. So I can't do it. Well, Thank said. you. <laughs>